Hey, what's up everyone? My name is Frankie W and welcome back to my life. Today we're going to Y'all West, which is a YA and middle grade book festival. My friend Zoe, who you know, may know from my Semester at Sea videos, my golf ball vlog, love you, Zoe Hannah Makuda. I'm your biggest fan. She's gonna be at Y'all West, actually. She's on a couple panels and she has a book signing. So it's in Santa Monica at the Santa Monica High School. So I'm gonna spend the day in Santa Monica surprise her she has no idea that i'm gonna be there and yeah enjoy the mini y'all west vlog and come back at the end for a haul To Wonderland, which is this deep dark forest full of monsters that are called saints, because they used to be saints before they were corrupted by their magic and turned into these horrible, unearthly creatures. And now they hunt these creatures for sport and for money. Um, one of them now works for the queen, who is uh, very mad, and she conducts uh, horrible secret experiments in her palace and her favorite butcher, who is the white rabbit, um, a girl named Carousel Rabbit, uh, she needs to confront Alice and um, possibly kill her, possibly make up for the time of the we don't know yet. <laughs> <laughs> everyone welcome to the book haul haul of things i got at y'all west so again y'all west was a ya middle grade book festival and i didn't actually do my research about what authors were going to be there beforehand because i really only came for zoe but something that really was super cool and super exciting was soman chenani who i feel like i talk about him all the time the author of the school for good and evil was there and i was able to just talk to him and i never thought that was possible and also kaylin bayron kaylin baron she is the author of you're not supposed to die tonight which was a, like an 80s slasher book that i read and it's in my march and april reading wrap up which is only two books leave it alone <laughs> um, but she has a bunch of retellings and that's kind of why I even knew she was there. She was on a panel with Zoe about kind of like retelling retellings and how like creating new stories because Zoe's book, I love you Zoe Hannah Makuda, is called Off With Their Heads. It is a YA dark fantasy retelling of Alice in Wonderland. And there were a bunch of people on the panel for that. It was such a great conversation to hear. This was my first Y'all West, so I, don't want to say like what probably could have gone better what didn't go so good because I know there were some really big authors there like I cannot even remember the author that everyone was in line for but Veronica Roth was here and her line was like going up the stairs <laughs> but um I got to meet Soman Chinani and I also got to meet Kaylin Barron and then I was there for Zoe so those are like the main things that happened I'll say there were a lot of like cool there was an in and out pop-up food truck 
didn't get to go to because the line was too long. Um, Owl Crate was apparently doing a giveaway where you could spin the wheel and win free stuff. Also didn't get to go to because the line was too long. And it's a festival that's like all day. I got there at noon and went straight to Zoe's panel and then left closer to like five. And I want to say four or five o'clock, everything is closing down. Like there were stalls that were supposed to be giving out free books and things. And it's like everything was almost a ghost town at 4 p.m., which I understand because there's like a last event. I think it's the author versus author Smackdown. I know Zoe was a part of it. I left before because it was a ticketed event and I didn't know she was participating. But yeah, I don't know. There are some things about Y'all West that I didn't love. I think some of their systems and just like some of the ways things were running didn't make sense, but it's a free event. And I think when things are free, like there was a mad dash for wristbands for this one author and they like oh I feel like someone could have got trampled like it was really dangerous at points but anyway again my first time going I'm also not the target demographic anymore even though I love YA books and I think middle grade books are fun people are gonna be like I'm weird because I went excuse you <laughs> excuse you if the author's writing YA books are older than me I think I can go but whatever. Anyway, I wanted to do a haul of all the books that I got. And I also got a comic. So I actually I'll start with this figurine that I got. Shinzo! <laughs> I love Shinzo. I love My Hero Academia. I feel like for people who don't know, My Hero Academia is one of my favorite animes. Hunter Hunter is my favorite. And then I want to say My Hero Academia is possibly second or psyche kit it doesn't matter anyway i love my hero academia shinzo and eraserhead are actually two of my favorite characters so i absolutely love this and i'm so happy i have it now he's on over here actually by the candle the lavender lemonade he's like right here off i don't know if you can still see him but that's where shinzo lives now i love trinkets <laughs> and then as i said the whole reason i came was for zoe so this is off with their heads this is Zoe's third book, but this is a standalone book. So if you haven't seen any of my videos before, Zoe wrote Gear Breakers and God Slayers, which is a duology with mecha robots and lesbians, which is great. It's in my like one reading wrap up from back in the day. This is a reimagining of Alice in Wonderland and it's Korean, it's sapphic, it's dark <laughs> it's dark and i'm just so excited to read it and i'm so happy i had it i've actually been meaning to buy this because i knew the book came out on may Ooh, i want to say may 17th wait we're in may now april 17th i want to no this book came out last month <laughs> And I wanted to go pick it up immediately, but I remembered that I was trying to go to Y'all West and see Zoe, so I bought it at the festival, and then she signed it. And, um, yeah, she's so cute. I love her. Her hand, her signature? Zoe, if you're watching this, your signature is so cute. Whoa. Anyway, yeah. I literally... <laughs> The re I'm so serious. The only reason I came to Y'all West was Zoe, so it's so funny. Like... After I got Soman Chani, that's the next book I'll talk about, but after I got Soman Chenani to sign The School for Good and Evil, I kind of just stuck around acting like Zoe's assistant, like taking photos for her and offering to help if she needed it. And she was like, you don't have to do that. And I did it anyway, because I love her. <laughs> next book that I got would be The School for Good and Evil. Because of the lines for wristbanding, and I just assumed that all the wristbands were gone, I didn't even try to get a wristband for Solmon, but I came back after Zoe sent my book and I just checked with them and they said they had extras. So I literally ran back to the store, bought this book so he could sign it since all my copies of The School for Good and Evil are in Pennsylvania. So this is my third copy <laughs> of the first book. I have a hardcover book that I got in 2014. I have the collector's edition that I got, I want to say last year, and now I have this version of the book, and I have never annotated a book before, but I think I would annotate this one specifically, since it's my third version of it, and it's paperback. So I, I definitely think I would annotate paperbacks versus hardcovers, but we'll see. And then the last book 
that I got signed and I purchased was Cinderella is Dead by Kaylin Barrett. Kaylin Barron? Barron? Oh my god, I'm so sorry I can't say it right. Kaylin Barron wrote You're Not Supposed to Die Tonight. I read You're Not Supposed to Die Tonight in my March, April reading wrap up, so. I didn't have that book with me because I left it home in PA after I finished it because every time I finish a book here I'm gonna take it home um, and then leave the ones that I haven't read. Also <laughs> there's literally like no room behind me <laughs> so I'm gonna have to find a place to put these. Uh, Zoe's would fit in. I have this like red and black shelf that I unintentionally made. I might move the Jujutsu Kaisen mangas to put it up there but yeah. I didn't have my You're Not Supposed to Die tonight and I didn't want to buy another version of it. So I bought Cinderella is Dead and I asked her to sign it. And then Kaylin was also on the same panel as Zoe because they had a retelling. Hold on, let me look. Panel schedule. Re, <laughs> re, re, retellings and why we love them. <laughs> re, re, retellings and why we love them. And Kaylin was on that panel with Zoe, and Zoe obviously just came out with this Alice in Wonderland adap adaptation. And Kaylin has this Cinderella one, this Poison Heart, which is, I want to say, a Snow White one. And then she's actually coming out right now with a Sleeping Beauty adaptation. So kind of just hearing everybody else on the panel's, like, opinions and just why they retell stories and how they do it was just so interesting. And so, yeah. That's the third and last book I got signed. To all the other authors there, I feel like I really didn't pay attention because it was already overwhelming to get these three books signed. <laughs> I, I, I don't know how people do it. Like, there were people with those crate boxes. Ugh, like, I don't, I truthfully don't know how people do it. But I got my three books signed. That's all I wanted. And then I actually went to the comic book store. I got that Shinzo figurine. And then at the comic stall, they also had this, which was Cami, Gar Cami Garcia and Gabriel Piccolo's Teen Titans Raven comic book, which is like, I am pretty sure Gabriel Piccolo I follow on Instagram. I absolutely love the art style that he has for the Teen Titans. He draws them so cool like i follow him on instagram i love how he draws blue beetle i love how he draws like the teen titans as actual teens living life and it just makes me so happy so i now have a one at least one of them and yeah i follow gabriel piccolo on instagram and i absolutely love his work so yeah and then last last thing EerilyWrinkling.com, Jordan, Jordan Fellows LLC, AJ and Tony. Um, one of the names on this bag. I was talking to a mom who had a stall. Her son was kind of away for a second, but he's, he's 14, 15, 15, which is crazy. Just, he's so talented. He makes these bookmarks and I bought one that was a key. Yeah, so I read a lot of fantasy storytelling type stories, so I thought this kind of golden key would be really cool. Um, and he's 15. Like, I'd love to support small businesses and family-owned stuff, so this is really cool. So this is everything that I got at Y'all West, which was so absolutely amazing and fun. Definitely so tired. The food truck options were top tier i'm not kidding that had the best lobster roll and the best bubble tea ever <laughs> like i'm so grateful that they had good food because sometimes food options are not good but the the trucks that they had chef's kiss that is everything for this y'all west vlog thank you so much for tuning in support your friends support authors love reading i love you zoe hanamakuda <laughs> and yeah have a great day